In this video, we'll go over more pharmacy math. Check out the spreadsheet linked in the description so you can follow along. Pause the video and work out the answers on the screen or spreadsheet before I work out the solutions here. We'll start off with some respiratory drugs. The directions on the Zelestine nasal spray are to use one to two sprays in each nostril twice a day. There are 200 sprays in each bottle and we can use up to eight sprays a day. So 200 divided by eight is a 25 day supply. This is take one capsule by mouth three times a day for seven days. If we need a seven day supply and we're taking three capsules a day, then that's 21 capsules. For the Brio inhaler, we're inhaling one puff by mouth once a day. If each inhaler contains 30 doses, that's a 30 day supply. This one is inhaled two puffs by mouth every four to six hours as needed for shortness of breath or wheezing. Each inhaler is 8.5 grams, so 25.5 grams is the same as three inhalers. Each inhaler has 200 metered sprays, so that's a total of 600 puffs. We can use up to two puffs every four hours or six times a day for a total of 12 puffs a day. 600 divided by 12 is a 50 day supply. For the Flonase, we're using two sprays in each nostril once daily. There are 120 sprays in each bottle and we can use up to four sprays a day, so 120 divided by four is a 30 day supply. Next one is inhale one puff by mouth once a day. Three inhalers have a total of 90 doses, so that's a 90 day supply. Last one here is inhale two puffs by mouth twice a day. 20.4 grams is the same as two inhalers, and each inhaler has 120 puffs, so that's a total of 240 puffs. 240 divided by four is 60. The first one here is inhale two puffs because each puff is 80 micrograms twice daily. For one inhaler, that would be a 30 day supply. This one is for a nebulizer solution. Inhale three milliliters or one vial by mouth via nebulizer every four hours as needed for asthma. 180 divided by 18 is a 10 day supply. This is inhale two milliliters or one vial by mouth twice daily via nebulizer. If we're using two vials a day, then that's 30 divided by two for a 15 day supply. This is instill one drop in affected eyes twice daily. In a five milliliter bottle, there are about 100 drops. If we're using two drops a day, then that's a 50 day supply. This is take five milliliters by mouth every 12 hours as needed for cough. 120 divided by 10 is 12. Here we have inhale one puff by mouth every day. One inhaler has 30 doses, so this is a one month supply. Last one is take five milliliters by mouth every four to six hours as needed for cough. We can take up to 30 milliliters in one day and a pint is 473 milliliters. So 473 divided by 30 is about a 16 day supply. Moving on to some endocrine drugs, this section in my opinion is the most difficult because of the insulins, injectables, and steroid tapers. For the metformin, we're taking one tablet by mouth twice a day with food. 60 tablets would last one month. This is inject 32 units under the skin every day. We're dispensing five pens, each pen has three milliliters, and each milliliter has 100 units. So we have a total of 1500 units. Notice that for these calculations, all the units cancel out so that we're left with total units. If we're using 32 units a day, then that's about a 46 day supply. This is inject eight units via insulin pump three times a day, 15 minutes before meals. We have two vials, each vial is 10 milliliters and each milliliter has 100 units. So we have a total of 2000 units. Set up your calculations using dimensional analysis. And again, we're left with units. If we're using eight units three times a day, then we can use up to 24 units a day. So 2000 divided by 24 is about an 83 day supply. But there's an important point with biologic drugs such as insulins that can affect your calculations. So an 83 day supply is only correct on paper. Leave a comment below if you know why an 83 day supply is incorrect in this example along with a few others on the next slide. Here we have inject 0.75 milligrams under the skin once a week. We have six milliliters and we can use the conversion factor of four half milliliter pens per carton, which is the same as four pens per two milliliters to see that we're dispensing 12 pens. We're using one pen a week, so 12 pens would last 84 days. For the Ozempic, the directions are to inject one milligram under the skin once a week. Three milliliters is the amount in one pen and each pen has four milligrams of drug. If we're using one milligram a week, then four milligrams would last 28 days. 
This is inject 1.2 milligrams under the skin once a day. We can use the strength of the medication as a conversion factor to get the total milligrams. That works out to a total of 54 milligrams. Divide that by 1.2 to get a 45 day supply. Last one is take one capsule by mouth once weekly. Four capsules should last 28 days. Here are a few more injectable examples. The first one is inject 25 units under the skin every day. Set up your conversions to find out how many total units are being dispensed and we get 1800 units. Note that not all insulins are 100 units per milliliter. This example is 200 units per mil and some insulins can even go up to 500 units per mil in really concentrated formulations such as in Humulin R. So 1800 divided by 25 gives about a 72 day supply. The next one is inject 10 to 15 units under the skin 15 minutes before meals. Again, let's calculate the total amount of units in four vials. That comes out to 4,000 units. We can assume that the patient has three meals a day and they're using the max amount prescribed, so 15 units three times a day, or up to 45 units a day. 4,000 divided by 45 is about 89. This is inject 19 units under the skin every morning. Five pens of basal glar is 1,500 units divided by 19 is about a 79 day supply. This is inject 2 milligrams or 1 pen under the skin every 7 days. 3.4 milliliters is the same as 4 pens, so 4 pens would last 28 days. Next one is inject 4 units under the skin at the start of each meal. 10 milliliters has 1,000 units and the patient can use up to 12 units a day, so that comes out to an 83 day supply. For the last insulin example, this is inject 5 units under the skin every morning and 3 units every night before bed. One vial is 10 milliliters and 10 milliliters is 1,000 units. 1,000 divided by 8 comes out to a 125 day supply. In most cases, you would round that down to a 90 day supply because most insurance plans max out at 90 days. But again, we have to consider another factor that changes the actual day supply to 31 days. So the whole idea with insulin is to figure out how many total units are prescribed and divide that by the total units being administered in a day to get your day supply. If we look at the calculations for the previous examples, we see that the last step is total units divided by units used in a day. Last one here is inject 200 milligrams or one milliliter in the muscle every two weeks. Six vials or six milliliters because each vial is one milliliter would last 12 weeks or 84 days. This is a prednisone taper. It's helpful to make a table to work out the math when the tapers are really extended. This one is prednisone 10 milligrams, so 40 milligrams is the same as four tablets. So take four tablets by mouth four times a day for two days, then take three tablets three times a day for three days, then take two tablets twice daily for three days, then take one tablet twice daily for three days. So we're taking four tablets four times a day for two days, then three tablets three times a day for three days. If you do that for the rest of the directions and add up the totals, we get a grand total of 77 tablets with an 11 day supply. This is a Medrol dose pack. These are the typical directions to take six tablets by mouth on the first day, then decrease by one tablet daily as directed on the package labeling. 21 tablets last six days. Levothyroxine can have unique dosing to get the patient within target TSH levels. This one is take one and one half tablets by mouth every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. They're taking one and one half tablets four days a week for a total of six tablets a week, and an 84 day supply is 12 weeks, so six times 12 is 72 tablets. This one is take one tablet by mouth every day skipping placebo pills. There are 28 tablets per pack and seven placebo pills in each pack. So four packs in four packs are a total of 112 tablets. Each pack has seven placebos and we're skipping those. So subtract 28 from 112 and we get 84 active tablets for an 84 day supply. These directions are apply to affected area twice a day. Check out my data entry video where I explain the fingertip unit that's used in determining the day supply for topicals like creams and ointments. This is instill one to two drops in both eyes three times a day for 14 days. If we do the calculations, we see that we could use up to 168 drops in 14 days. Each bottle is five milliliters or hundred drops, so we would need two bottles. 
Here's some more eye drops. This is instill one drop in the left eye four times a day. A bottle is 10 milliliters with about 200 drops, so 200 divided by four is a 50 day supply. Here are a few anti-inflammatory and immunomodulatory drugs. For alendronate, we're taking one tablet by mouth every week. 12 tablets times seven is an 84 day supply. This is take three tablets by mouth twice a day once a week. If we're dispensing 36 tablets and we're using six tablets a week, then this should last six weeks or 42 days. This is take four capsules by mouth every day. 30 times four is 120 capsules. This is apply four grams topically to affected areas four times a day. Max 16 grams every day to any single joint of lower extremities. 300 divided by 16 is about 19 days. Here we have take one tablet by mouth every day for 14 days. 14 tablets is a 14 day supply. This is take two capsules by mouth at first sign of flare, then take one capsule one hour later, not to exceed three capsules every three days. Three capsules every three days is the same as one capsule a day. So nine capsules is a nine day supply. Last one here is take one tablet by mouth four times a day as needed for pain. 40 tablets divided by four is 10. In this last section, we'll look at some infectious disease drugs. This is take one capsule by mouth three times a day until gone. 21 divided by three is a seven day supply. For this one, we have to convert the strength to a volume. So use the strength of the drug as a conversion factor, and we get about 4.2 milliliters. So this is take 4.2 milliliters by mouth every eight hours for 10 days. 4.2 times three times 10 is about 125 milliliters. Each bottle has 200 milliliters, so we only need one bottle and we should include discard remaining medication in the directions. Similar example for the Ceftonir, convert the strength to a volume here and we see that we're taking 12 milliliters by mouth every 12 hours for 10 days. A 10 day supply would only require 240 milliliters or four bottles because each bottle is 60 milliliters. Next one is take two tablets by mouth twice a day. 40 divided by four is a 10 day supply. This is take one capsule by mouth every 12 hours for 14 days. 14 times two is 28 capsules. Here are some ear drops. The directions call for four drops in both ears twice a day for seven days. First, find the total number of drops being used. Then we can figure out how many drops are contained in each bottle. Each bottle has 150 drops and we need 112 drops. So this would only require one bottle. Last one here is take one tablet by mouth every 24 hours for three days. A three day supply needs three tablets. On to our last set of problems. This one is take 125 milligrams or 2.5 milliliters by mouth four times a day for 10 days. Again, the SIG came over in terms of a strength, so we can convert that to a volume using the strength of the drug as a conversion factor. If we're taking 2.5 milliliters four times a day for 10 days, then we need 100 milliliters. A bottle comes in 150 milliliters, so we only need one bottle and we can discard the remaining medication. A Z-Pack has tapered instructions like a Medrol dose pack. The directions used as directed refers to typical Z-Pack dosing instructions to take two tablets by mouth on day one, then take one tablet daily on days two through five. Generally, six tablets come in a Z-Pack that'll last five days. This is applied topically to affected area three times a day for five to seven days. You'll see Paradex being prescribed after many dental procedures. This is swish and spit half an ounce by mouth for 30 seconds twice a day after brushing. One pint is 473 milliliters divided by 30 is about a 16 day supply. This is take one tablet by mouth every 12 hours for three days. A three day supply requires six tablets. This is take five milliliters by mouth every day for two weeks. If we work out all the math, we see that we need 70 milliliters or two bottles for a 14 day supply. Last one is take one tablet by mouth three times a day for five days. Three tabs a day for five days is 15 tablets. All right, that's all for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't already.